Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Rassad with America's Egg Farmers, and meringue is one of my favorites. And there's a few important things to know right when you get started. The first one is that you want your egg whites to be at room temperature. That way they'll whip up and give you maximum volume. The next thing to know is you want all your equipment to be really clean. It's good to use stainless steel and make sure they're very clean because any trace of fat at all will stop the egg whites from rising. So once you have room temperature whites and your equipment's clean, it's time to get started. So we put the egg whites in the bowl and you add a little bit of cream of tartar, which is an acid and it helps stabilize the meringue. And then you start by whipping this. Now the first step is to whip the cream of tartar and the egg whites just until they get frothy. There it is, the whites are nice and frothy, so we're gonna add our powdered sugar two tablespoons at a time. By adding it slowly and allowing the sugar to absorb, you're gonna get maximum volume. We want stiff peaks, so we're gonna to check to see where we're at. If you take the whites like this and you hold it up, you'll see it kind of falls over like a breaking wave or like an elf's hat. That means soft peaks. We want it to stick straight up, so we're gonna keep going. So now all the sugar's been incorporated, so now we're looking for our stiff peaks. We want that to stand straight up. All right, now we've got our perfect stiff peaks, so we're gonna fold in our ground almonds. You get creative here, you could put in ground hazelnuts, whatever kind of nuts you like, you could add some spice. So we're gonna put a little bit at a time, sprinkle it across the top till you have like an even coating, and then you wanna fold it in, cut down through the middle, and then come up and over the top, and down around the sides. Our goal is to incorporate those ground almonds in evenly. All right, there we have it. They're all mixed in evenly. So now we take our piping bag, and we're gonna fill that up. Now once the sheet pans full, they go into a 225 degree oven for an hour, and then after that hour, you turn off the oven, but leave them in for another hour to finish setting. And now this is what you end up with. The cookies, which are beautiful, and then you can also do a great pie crust like this, which is gluten-free. You just pipe it into a pie pan, bake it, and then you can fill it with fruit like this, or ice cream, custard, anything you like. So there you have it. That's meringue, how to make it, how to use it, enjoy.